What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be doing our overview for Claudia. Now, if you guys don't know, Claudia is going to be the next banner coming to the game. And with her being the next banner, I wanted to go ahead and get you guys all this information so you guys can prepare for, you know, what is to come. Now, before we get into this, I will be using this right here. And the reason why is because her uh, stats were data mined already. So we know exactly what's going to be coming with her stats and everything like that. Now, I do already have this version, which is the CN version open. Open, but the CN version, um, the stats are completely different. So I didn't want to go through the CN version when we have the global stats. Now, just to let you guys know, she was buffed in almost every single area. The only thing she didn't get buffed on is like her dive attack or something, I believe. So um, yeah, she, she was buffed in almost every single area. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys those stats instead of giving you the, you know, the old stats on the scene version. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go over the stats and everything. And I will be showing you guys gameplay so you can see exactly what she looks like. So starting out with her quick slash, which is her normal auto attacks. While on the ground, swing the blade to attack five times in a row. Next up, we're going to be talking about her jumping strike, which is basically going to be her airborne attacks. While airborne, tap normal attack to attack four times in a row. <laughs> then after that, we'll get into her cyclone. Hold the normal attack button after normal attacks to trigger cyclone. Upon hit... Suspend the target and deal a certain amount of damage to a single target. Next is Diving Edge. Tap and hold normal attack while airborne and tap normal attack while climbing, jumping backward, or using the jetpack to trigger Diving Edge. While falling, deal damage equal to 10% of attack plus one each hit. Upon landing, deal damage equal to a certain amount of attack and knock the target back. The higher the altitude when triggering the attack, the greater the damage dealt up to 600% damage. <laughs> Next is leap attack, tap normal attack during the short period after dodging to trigger leap attack. The wanderer swings their blade and deals damage equal to a certain amount of attack to the target, strongly suspending them and becoming airborne, then dealing additional damage. Now we'll get into her one ability. Dance through targets while swinging the blade, dealing damage equal to a certain percent of attack in total of up to five targets. Attack on the same target deals 20% less damage. At the end of the skill, slash the space in front, dealing damage equal to a certain percent of attack to targets and suspend them. Immune to crowd control effects while ability is in use and all damage taken is reduced by 50%, 15 second cooldown. Now this is pretty cool because it does take a decent amount of time for her to finish this entire move, but during the move she cannot be CC'd, right, or crowd controlled, which is CC, and she takes 50% reduced damage. So even if she gets hit, she will have damage reduction. So this is a really, really nice thing for you, you know, trying to get the move out. Just, uh, just a couple quality of lives to it, which is really nice. Moving on to her Discharge, Unbridled Flurry. When weapon charge is full or Fantasia is triggered, switching to this weapon from another weapon will remove all debuffs from Wilder, who charges and strongly suspends a target, dealing certain amount of percent um, damage, leaving behind a Blade Storm that deals certain amount of percent damage to the target, while gaining immunity to Grievous Freeze Burn Electrify effects for 5 seconds. So basically when she does this, she is pretty much CC immune, she can still be stunned, uh, so I mean there's that, but most of the things that would be able to stop her cannot stop her, uh, so she will be fine. <laughs> Now, as far as her dupes, they did not get touched. So we can basically go over to the other website for the dupes. Now, I do want to say, uh, let you guys know something before we switch over. She will have physical resonance. 
So she's just like Frigg that got Ice Resonance and just like Nemesis that got Volt Resonance. She will have Physical Resonance. So if you guys like Shiro or want to run her with Shiro, you can. I'm going to be running her with Frigg and Meryl until we get Lin and Lyra. But uh, if you guys want to run her with Shiro for the Physical Resonance, you can. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Now, moving on to her dupes. The one star. Each time when a skill or discharge skill hits a target, a stack of damage boost is granted which increases damage dealt by 8% for 25 seconds. Stacks up to three times. Each successful skill or discharge can only grant one stack. So if you guys don't know, um, she is a unit that can pretty much fit on any team. And the reason why is because her one star. Her one star is going to be giving out 24% increased damage, right? Which is, but it's universal. So she can fit on any team. She can use this for any team, um, you just gotta put her in a rotation and she's gonna do fine. Really, really good one star. If any of you guys are looking to, you know, at what dupe she gets her power spikes, the one star is gonna be a really, really big power spike for her and whatever team she's on. Two star, increase the current weapon's base attack growth by 16%, standard for DPS. Three star, hitting a target with a skill or discharge skill applies a stack of war wounds to the target, increasing incoming physical damage and shatter effects from physical and elemental weapons taken by the target by 10 seconds or by 10 percent for 15 seconds stacks up to one time and i know it stacks up to one time it's weird but that's because the six star gives another one but anyways this means that once you hit them with a discharge or a skill they'll take increased physical damage and they'll take increased shatter from all elements right so the damage that they take that's increased is only physical but the shatter effects um, increase is from physical and elemental weapons so any weapon can give increased shatter so i'm going for the three star personally and this is going to be really good because um it's going to allow my Claudiator to do more damage but it'll also allow my frig and meryl to do more shatter which is going to be really really good but anyways moving on to the four star increased current weapons base hp growth whatever five star hitting targets with a skill or a discharge skill grant skill damage boost which increases all weapon skill damage by 20 percent for 25 seconds cannot stack so if you if you do this you will get all weapon skill damage increased by 20 percent now this is like the um, the dupe that everybody that anyone that spends a lot or a decent amount of money on the game wants to go for simply because this is going to take all of your units to the next level this is going to make all of your units hit way harder right a lot of like if you if you say you're summoning for claudia a lot a lot of times more often than not people will ask you hey are you going to get her c5 hey, are you going to get her fifth dupe and this is the reason why it's going to make a lot of units a lot better moving on to her six star hitting the same target no longer reduces the damage dealt after using Gurren Blade or a Discharge skill, so her skill or a Discharge skill, applies one stack of War Wounds to all targets within 8 meters and gain another one stack of War Wounds. So basically, the reason why this says stack up to one time is because when you use this, you can get another stack. So uh, instead of it being once, it can stack up to twice. But anyways, these are her dupes. Like I said, if you are light spender or free to play, one dupe is perfectly fine. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, I'm personally going to be going for the three star because I want to get her outfit for one and for two I do plan on running Lyra in the future which is a physical unit So um, having this is just going to be really good for her in the long run But anyways, that is going to be her dupes scrolling down. We can go all the way to her upgrade material She does want nano fiber. So this is this is going to be a bad bad for a lot of people but a good for some people and what I mean is uh, Meryl and Frigg both want booster frames so, I don't have anyone that needs nanofibers besides Tsubasa, but I'm taking Tsubasa off the team for Claudia. So, I can just stack my nanofibers for Claudia when she drops, and then build her then. But she does also require these uh, these red pieces, which I feel like everybody requires these. So, um, you do want to stack up on those because she wants those just like almost everybody else. Everybody that, not everybody uses them, but like most of the units, I, feel, I see like people using uses these. Um, so I don't know. I know all of my units use them, but yeah, there you go. If you guys want to look at good sets for her, you can go two piece Shiro, two piece Crow, or you can go four piece Claudia. Or if you don't have any SSR Matrix, you can go three piece Sobek. 
then looking at her um, simulacrum trait. It's not that good. Going invisible for one second upon dodging. And then at the 4K trait, it's going invisible for 1. 1.0 seconds after dodging. Literally just not that good. You'd, you'd want to go with a damage trait like Samir or Subasa um, personally. Moving on to her gifts. As you guys can see here, she does have a, a couple of 80 gifts and then she has some 60 gifts. But if, you know, if you guys are looking to get her trait for whatever reason, these are the gifts you want. Everyday items, rare items, and decorations. So, anyways, that is Claudia. Like I said, I'm going for her because I do want to run Lyra in the future. Uh, she is more of a support than a DPS. I'm sure you guys have already got that. She's kind of like Frigg. Even though Frigg says she's a DPS, Frigg is pretty much a support for the Ice Team. Claudia is the exact same way. She is more so a support more than a DPS. So there you guys go. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.